Hello everyone. So this is the part two for the solution video regarding the scholarship exam. So in this video, we will see the rest of the questions and some of the numericals. So the very first question of the video is match the following. So here some amino acids are listed and their types we have to identify. Like whether it is your essential, non-essential, whether it will be polar or non-polar. So the first is alanine, second is serine, third is phenylalanine, fourth one is threonine. So the correct answer for this question is SRQP. That is option number two. Okay. So for alanine, uh, alanine is your non-polar and non-essential. Serine is your polar and non-essential. Phenylalanine is your non-polar and essential. While threonine is your polar and essential. So for this, what you have to learn is you, you should know all the names of the essential amino acids as well as the non-essential amino acids in which you should know which one are the polar, which one are the non-polar. So the correct answer for this question is option number two. The next question is an enzyme with a Km value of 5 millimolar has a reaction rate of 200 millimolar per minute at a substrate concentration of 0 0.5 millimolar. What is the maximum reaction rate uh, this enzyme can achieve when it is saturated with the substrate? So here, firstly, write down the given values. The second is your reaction rate has been given over here. Then you will have the substrate concentration of 0.5. So for this, just you should know the Michaelis mentioned equation. V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S. Here, V0 is even 200. Now you have to find out V max. V max is equal to V naught into Km plus S divided by S. So it is equal to, okay. So this is what you, you have to do, okay. So V max is equal to V naught into Km plus S upon S. So after this, what you have to do is just put all the values, put down all the values and you will get the answer. So your answer is 2200. So it is very easy. For this, you should know the equation of Michaelis mentioned constant. What is the equation of, or what is the Michaelis mentioned equation? V0 is equal to V, or V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S. So this is what you should know. So the next question is, which of the following statements with respect to E. coli are true? So there can be many statements which can be true. So firstly, you should know whether it is your gram positive or gram negative. Because that will decide whether it will have the thick cell wall or thin cell wall. Okay. So the correct answer is E. coli is your gram negative bacteria. Thus, they will have the thin peptidoglycan layer. And it won't retract the crystal violet cell. Obviously, if it is the gram negative, so it won't be crystal violet, uh, like it won't be crystal violet color. It will have a different color. That is, it will be of a reddish to pink color. Okay. Then their natural habitat is the human intestine. So the correct answer is they do not retain crystal violet. They have the thin peptidoglycan layer, and their natural habitat is human intestine. So this is the MSQ type of question, and the answer is A, B, and D. There will be no negative marking for MSC. The next question is cultures used in industrial production of yogurt are. So for industrial production of yogurt, you can use the streptococcus thermophilus. Also, you can use the lactobacillus delbruki. So lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus thermophilus are the two cultures used. Okay, so option is B and C. This is also type of MSC. The next is which of the following uh, statements about the fermentation are true? So you should know for, uh, fermentation produces CO2 as a byproduct, okay? So it is the energizing metabolic pathway. So these two are the correct plans. The next is here uh, you have to match the following. So spoilage types are given and their definition, like what is uh, reversion, what is proteolysis, so that you have to define, okay? So the correct answer for this particular question is SQPR. That is option number C. So putrefaction means decomposition of protein under the anaerobic condition. Okay. While your proteolysis means enzymatic breakdown of the protein into smaller peptide and amino acid. So remember the difference between the putrefaction and the proteolysis. In putrefaction, your protein is going to be decomposed, which will be under the anaerobic condition. While in proteolysis, there will be the breakdown of a protein into the peptide and the amino acid. 
then reversion reversion means appearance of the uh, objectionable flavor from the uh, less oxidation before true rancidity okay so appearance of the objectionable flavor it will be your reversion and fermentation is nothing but break, breakdown of your uh, carbohydrate under the anaerobic condition the next question is here the spoilage types are given like green spoilage yellow spoilage likewise and you have to find out the which particular microorganism is going to be responsible for a particular type of a spoilage so the correct answer for this is rsqp that is option number d so green rot uh, for green rot of a the answer is the pseudomonas fluorescence for green rot it is pseudomonas fluorescence for putrid cell in canned fish your answer uh, should be here clostridium sporangius then you will have the red bread that is the cerasia yellow discoloration due to the micrococcus this one is also match the following here also you have to define some given terms like what is food spoilage what is food intoxication food poisoning and food infection so the correct answer for this particular question is r p s and q so this is nothing but this is your option number b that is r sorry r p s q is your option a so food spoilage means biochemical changes in food making uh, it undesirable to eat and it may cause the disease okay then uh, for second uh, the answer is uh, p that is the disease caused due to the ingestion of the contaminated with the toxin that is the food intoxication okay if your food is already contaminated with toxin and you are going to consume that so that is food or intoxication then uh, if you have the food poisoning so food poisoning is nothing but state of poor health resulting from the uh, contaminated food and food infection means uh, this is nothing but this is your gastrointestinal disease caused due to the growth of the activity uh, growth and the activity of the microorganisms so the correct answer is rtsq the next question is what is the generation time of a bacterial population that is going to be increased from 10000 cells to uh, like 10 to the power 4 cells to 10 to the power 7 cells in 4 hours of the growth so just write down the given what is n not what is nt n not is 10 to the power 4 and t is 10 to the power 7 Time given is four hours is equal to four into three sixty. Sorry, four uh, into sixty. That is two forty minutes. You have to find out the generation time G. Now you should know what is the formula for G. So G is equal to T upon three point three log of B by B. This is nothing but T upon log of N not by N. Sorry, log n t by n. Just put all the values. Put it in form three point three to ten to the power seven by ten to the power four, and you will get the answer twenty four point twenty four minutes. The next question is: a hundred microliter of the aliquot is present, which has the ten to the power minus four of the dilution rate. of bacterial uh, culture placed in the nutrient agar which gives the four colony now you have to do the stock concentration in millions of cell per ml that is rounded off to one decimal place now first we write down the dilution given over is 10 to power, uh, minus 4 okay then you will have the four colonies and now what you have to do is what is the bacterial stock concentration now see let x be the number of the cells in the stock solution because you are unknown with the thing So that is x. Okay, you do not know how many number of uh, cells are present in the stock solution. Then the next thing is you will have the dilution. So dilution which is given over here is 10 to the power minus 4. So dilution given over here is 10 to the power minus 4. Okay, and the number of the cells after the dilution will be what? So if dilution is 10 to the power minus 4, and if you have the x number of cells, so number of cells after that will be x into 10 to the power minus 4 cells per ml. So this is what you get. Then the next is after dilution, you will have the hundred microliter of the aliquot, which is uh, which will have the four colonies. Okay, so if hundred uh, microliter have four colony, one ml will have how many? So one ml will give forty colonies. Just do the cross multiplication. Okay, now if the forty colonies are present in x into ten to the power minus four of your cells, so uh. One ml, like one ml of aliquot, will have the forty colonies, and if forty colonies are present in x into ten to the power minus four, so x will be forty upon 
10 to the power minus 4, that is 4 into 10 to the power 5 cells per ml. So this is cells per ml. Now you have to find out in millions, okay? So 4 into 10 to the power 5 divided by, if you have to find out in millions, it will be divided by 10 to the power 6. So it becomes 0.4. So this is your answer, 0.4. Okay, so 0.4 million cells will be present in your uh, liquid vesicle or in your aliquot, which is diluted up to 10 to the power minus 4. It is very easy to be remembered. Firstly, just whatever number, if you are unknown with the quantity, just uh, write down the, just consider it as the x. Okay, after considering it as the x, you will have the dilution. Now, after dilution, if you have the 100 microliter of uh, Okay, after dilution, just multiply the other x number of cells with the dilution, that is 10 to the power minus 4. So you get x into 10 to the power minus 4. Now, if you, in question, you have the 100 microliter, just convert it into milliliter. So if 100 milliliter will have the four color lines, so 1 ml will have how many? So do the cross multiplication, okay? After that, you will get 40 color lines are present in 10, uh, into 10, uh, 10 raised to minus 4 into x, that quantity. Now find out the x. So x is equal to 10, 4 into 10 to the power 5, sorry, 40 upon 10 to the power minus 4. So you get 4 into 10 to the power 5. Now that is cell per ml, but you have to cover millions of cells. So just divide it by 10 to the power 6 because 1 million is equal to 10 to the power 6. Okay, so this is what you get and your answer is 0.4 million cells per ml. So it is very easy, but it is a little bit of tricky question. The next question is, which of the following statements are correct? This is a MSU type of question. So the uh, freezing meat at extremely low temperature, it will eliminate all the harmful bacteria and make the meat safe for the consumption. And the second statement is, marbling will be the uh, visible fat content. It is basically the visible fat content with the muscle tissue of the meat and it is desirable to cut the certain threads and it contributes to tenderness and juiciness. So these two statements, these are the correct. So the correct answer is the marbling. And the at a freezing or at low temperature, your milk product, your bacteria can be eliminated. B and C is the correct answer. Which of the following statements are correct with respect to tetra pack packaging? So in tetra pack packaging, basically it is the sixth layer of packaging. It will uh, it will have the inner layer of the polyethylene, which will protect the product from moisture. It has the lighter barrier uh, as a cardboard function. And there are three layers of polyethylene. This is the correct answer. Now, which of the following preservatives are allowed in bakery? Okay, so in bakery, basically propanic and sorbic acid are allowed. That is A and B. Uh, KMS was also, it occurs as a source of SO2, but it is used in the food products. And potassium bromate, it is now banned in the bakery industry because uh, it can lead to the cancer. That's right. Now, this is the match the following. So in this match the following, what you have to do is, if you have to analyze any type of product, so for that, you will require the particular type of device or a particular type of the uh, graph machine to check its trends or something, okay? So here you will have the products like the Farino graph, Alveo graph, Extenso graph, and Amino graph. For this, what are the type? Like what it will imply or what it is signifying or what it is going to check? So the answer is, RQSP. So for Farido graph, you will have it will measure your dose strength. Then uh, Alveo graph, it will uh, measure your viscosity analysis of dough. Then you will have Extenso graph, it will determine the gluten strength and bread making characteristics. And Amino graph, it will estimate the amount of water that is used to make the dough. So this is very important to be remembered because in match the following, what will happen? You will get to know about the multiple terminologies. Uh, and it will be helpful in your division also. The next question is regarding the product and what type of additive you can use. So uh, the correct answer for this question is PRSQ. So here the first option is edible oil. Edible oil has the BHA butylated hydroxy anisone antioxidant as a preservative or as an additive. Then you will have the meat flavor enhancer for this MSG is there. For bread, bread you will have the uh, calcium propanoid and for jelly, jelly you will have the sodium benzoyl. 
this is also additives are given just you have to write down the example so the correct answer for this is rpsq that is option number d so sequestrants are uh, citric acid then uh, humectant are nothing but uh, uh, humectant are nothing but glycerol then you will have the stabilizer stabilizer it, it is nothing but you are uh, carrying it and tenderizing agent is packed so the next question is a food stored in your pet jar that is polyethylene tetrapolyethylene jar which will have a small thickness of 0.1 cm and surface area given is 400 cm square cm square now it is going to absorb the 3 cm cube of the oxygen so the oxygen permeability of pet bottle is being asked okay and the oxygen vapor pressure inside the container was 0 pascal outside the container it is 2172 pascal what is the shelf life of the product in these days so you have to find out the shelf life so for this just you have, so you have to simply use one formula that is p is equal to ql upon atp where you have to find out the t so rearrange the term you will get t is equal to ql upon ap delta p put all the values and then you will get the answer so answer you whatever you are going to get it will be in seconds so just convert it into the minutes or days like in options you can check what is asked for in question what is asked and that you have to write the next question is 600 kg of a cow milk testing 4% fat is to be standardized to the tone milk by removing 33% fat grain so that will be the tone milk for this you have to use the pearson square method okay so in this method what you have to do you have to draw the box like this where you have to write the component from a to e so uh, d and c are unknown so a is your fat percent of cow milk that is the 4% now b is your fat percentage of grain that is 33% now you have to find out the e so e is equal to basically e can be calculated it is the percent of the total milk that is the 3% which is given desirable content now d and a so uh, for d just b minus e that is you will get 30 kg of milk for uh, c just do a minus e you will get 1 kg of milk then again uh, what happen basically 30 kg of milk requires removal of 1 kg of grain so 1 kg milk will require 1 by 30 that is 0.3 now what happened after this uh, 600 kg of milk will require how many so just do multiplication 0.3 into 600 so you will get 20 kg of grain now this 20 kg of cream it will be required to remove But how many rest of the contents? So six hundred minus twenty is nothing but five eighty. So this is the correct answer. The next question is which of the following statements are correct in regard to multiple effect evaporator? So multiple effect evaporator has various benefits like it reduces energy consumption in evaporation process. It will improve the product quality and purity, and uh, basically it will have the higher uh, evaporation rate compared to the single effect evaporator. So the correct answer for this is it will achieve the evaporation rate. Then, uh, it improve the uh, reduce the energy consumption and improve the product quality and the sale. Which of the following instrument are used to measure the specific gravity? For that, you can use the hydrometer. Sorry, hydrometer. This is the kind of MS. Which of the following uh, powder properties with their definition, like what mean by solubility, uh, dispersibility, wettability? So the correct answer for this is R P Q S. This match the following is regarding the uh, irradiation process. In irradiation, there are some types. So each type will signify one thing. So correct answer for this is R P Q. That is, a uh, radiation means. irradiation applied to the obtain a sustainable uh, reduction in number of spoilage organism then radiation means uh, irradiation aims to reduce the considerable number of these spore forming pathogenic microorganism and uh, radiation means it will apply to a prepackaged enzyme activated food to reduce the number of the activity of the microorganism the next question is if a drain weight of 10 g of dried sample which will have the 5 per, uh, 5% of the moisture and dehydration is your 70 g 
so uh, during so dry, during the process of drying which will contain the 90% of the moisture then the dehydrated coefficient is so here what you have to find out is the dehydration coefficient so for this you have the direct formula so formula is dehydration coefficient is equal to drain weight of dehydrated sample into 100 minus moisture content of sample before drying just divide this whole terminology by weight of a dry sample which is taken for dehydration and amount of moisture present in the dry sample in 200. So put all the values you will get answer 0 0.74. So moist air at 30 degrees Celsius has the one bar uh, of the relative humidity of 80%. So determine the specific humidity. So here to determine the specific humidity, just use the formula RH is equal to PV, PVS put all the values and at the end you will get 0 0.0216 kg per kg of dryer that is specific humidity. The next question is average number of texturized vegetable protein uh, or texturized protein product. It is looking uh, basically it has the 8% per of moisture content and uh, it has the 3200 of the ca 200 uh, calories per mole. If the water activity of this uh, TPP that is texturized protein is basically 0.3. The water activity of sample is 45 degrees Celsius. So the value of the gas constant R is equal to 1.987. It is given. Now you have to find out how much moisture is being needed. So for this, just do uh, use the Arrhenius equation that is ln2 by ln uh, a2 by a1 is equal to Ea rt1 minus rt2. So the correct answer for this is 0 0.32 to 0 0.4. So this is all regarding today's session. Thank you for joining.